Hey, <laughs> it's Sunday, 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 and I'm back with another video, back with another banger, what up, what's going on, how are you, happy Sunday, love you guys so much, thanks for joining me here again in the flow and how we flow. Dot Today TV, Stephanie Stallworth, ATL Traffic Lady, the founder and CEO of the Flow Streaming Service and the Flow Television Network, Praise God Network also for all of our ministries. Get ready to come on board here 2024. So listen, right? It's like whew, we've been working on a transformation. I see you getting it done. Um, and if you're just joining us and you're like, what are you talking about, Stephanie? Well, we're in this transformation process we flip the switch on our mindset to turn it into uh, the the type of mindset and the thought life that gives you the the things that you really want in life like we don't have to stay how we are we don't have to um, just be who we've been because that's what was given to us or we made choices I told you the other day the other video probably two videos ago if you go back and look at my videos on the YouTube two videos ago I think I said that every, um, the position that you're in and I'm in currently even today it all stems from choices and decisions we made prior to now everything that happened to us that we decided was decided for us all the different layers of trauma all the everything right that parfait of trauma that part of it but also ultimately every decision that you made up to this point got you to where you are now do you like where you are now if you do cool you're doing it you're doing the doggone thing right but if you don't like where you are now you gotta think what decisions did i make back there <laughs> who what was i doing back there to get me to where i am right here i don't like it okay don't do that anymore don't do that anymore don't do that anymore look back well, what was i don't gotta reflect like we can't just keep acting and doing and then never uh reflect on what it is that got you there what choices did you make what what happened here right what was that what was that thing you know it's like i used to be the the weather lady right did weather on tv and radio and uh, even worked at the weather channel the radio broadcast meteorologist so um all in that you know you're, you're forecasting the weather you know based on data and what happened prior to what was what might happen uh currently but also you got to uh, see if your forecast even verified. Did your forecast verify? Was it right? <laughs> did what I do, did what I did what I say was going to happen in the forecast, did it turn out right? Did it turn out right? You know, so you got to check back. Like all these decisions that I made, thinking it was going to get me certain forecasting, what was going to happen in my life based on those decisions. Did it verify? Was it right? <laughs> did my forecast verify? I said I would be doing so-and-so by now if I made that choice. If I decided to get into that marriage or relationship back then because I thought it was going to mean so-and-so in my life, and now look at me now, did that verify? No, that ain't verify. You, you got to be reflecting. You can't, we, it's great, keep pushing ahead, keep pushing ahead, but if you never go back and reflect on what the hooky bookie you were thinking about back there to get you to a place that you don't want to be in, it's time to think about it so you don't keep repeating the same cycle again and again and again and again and again. So it's like, all right, then let me think something different. And so if you want to flip the switch, we did that September the 1st, flip the switch that and the switch is that, um, you know, who created you? God created you. He created you with a plan and a purpose for your life. And are you even um, walking or uh, operating in that purpose and do you even know what it is you even think about it so let's say you're, you're trying to walk in it and, and, and figure that whole scenario out on what you're supposed to be doing and you don't like where you are right now this I always say God this can't be it <laughs> this can't be it <laughs> I know you got something better for me than this this cannot be the marriage for me. this cannot be the life for me this cannot be the you know whatever for me right this can't be it and so you got to move into the thing that you that you are looking for finding out what god said he has for you he has this for you what does he have for you and this can't be it this isn't it so there must be something i chose or did to get me to this other place so you know i got to get back to 
my spot to launch into the next phase of my life. As we talked about yesterday, the, the, the blessing, the list of blessings in the next phase of your life is so long and extensive. It's blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. It's it's like unbelievable, but there's also some, some transformative uh, aspects to those blessings. There's some work that we have to do to get those blessings. You don't just say, oh, God bless me and, and he'll bless you because he, he could do that. But some of the blessings, and it's not tangible, I'm not talking about money and, and finance and, and material items. I'm talking about transforming your mind, your, your soul, your body, your spirit, transforming um, your outlook, <laughs> transforming uh, the way you look at things, transforming things that you messed up before back there into things that are corrected, right? So you go on the, um, I think it's on my Instagram. Did I put it on the YouTube? Hmm. I better put it on YouTube. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Um, it is about the, the, the blessings in the next, I'm going to look it up. The blessings in the next phase of your life so I can refer to it. The blessings in the next phase of your life. The blessings in the next phase of your life. So in order to get to that, it's going to take a little work because we got to make some corrections to some things that we may have um, been party to or just done ourselves, right? That weren't in alignment with, you know, what God has for you or for people that you affected by whatever decisions you made right so you know we talked about that so you, you guys who are just joining us this is how we flow today tv it's stephanie stallworth uh and how we flow dot today check us out and join our, our community on ig at how we flow dot today this period today and the website how we flow dot today how we flow period today is the website so i'm, I'm re-gearing the website here i did get it back online but i'm going to be adding some stuff to it so um, I'll probably add these videos to it too, so that's all be in one place. Howsomever, how we flowed out today, it's, it's uh, our, our community, right? Let's talk about a community. We want to be part of a community of like-minded individuals who are focused on our self-care, uh, on well-being, uh, just wellness, and overall becoming our most amazing best self ever, right? And so if we're working on that and we're working on that together and we kind of help each other, iron sharpens iron and we build that community, the community grows and then our impact on others grows also exponentially, right? So if it's just me, hey, welcome to my community, how we float out today and I tell it to you and then you tell two friends and so, you know, that shampoo commercial and so on and so on, you gotta be of a certain age and so on, I forget which one it was, it was a shampoo commercial and talking about how if you tell two friends and then those two friends tell two friends and then those friends tell two friends and it just you know it, it grows so same way our community is growing exponentially based on what we are uh, doing and then offering that same thing to others so if we're offering this community of the art of well-being to others and we flipped our switch in our mindset is in such a space that um, we are able to uh, move into the things that we really want in our in our whole dream life and what we really want and then we offer to others and then they begin to learn how to do those things and begin to be mindful about it then you know the impact just like whoo it gets so big and beautiful right so that is what we're endeavoring to do is how we float out today how are you doing today flow why flow Stephanie well flow is uh it was the name of a tv show I did on preach to word worldwide Television Network. Shout out to PTWWN TV. They're streaming uh, service there for uh, Christian programming. So my show was called The Flow, you know, because, you know, the blood flows through the lowest valley, you know, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. And so it was called The Flow. And God expanded that for me into not just a show but to my own streaming service called now The Flow. That's my streaming service called The Flow. It's under Praise God, um, under, under Praise God Productions Incorporated. And um, the Praise God Network is about to launch 2024. But so anyway, I digress. Why Flow? So Flow. So Flow has been a, a thing here since uh, beginning of the pandemic. 
um, Dr. Bryant, Pastor Bryant said that we're going to prosper in a pandemic. And I took that into mind in the heart and said, okay, Lord, show me how you're going to have me and you want me to prosper in a pandemic. And so the flow show came about and all of that started. And then the flow streaming service came about and then all of that's going. And then we're, we're moving from there. But flow is sort of a brand that um, we're putting a few different things under. So you know, we got keto flow dot pro. We got the how we flow out today, how we flow to isogenics dot com. We've got um, the flow streaming service and, you know, the different flow uh, networks on the flow, flow food. Flow Family, Flow uh, Films, Flow Free Play, Flow Free, Flow Finds, Flow, what else did I say? Film, Flow Fans for sports and uh, fitness content, Flow Funny for, you know, so I got all these networks in the Flow streaming service. And then the newest launch of Flip and Flow Faith Network to be the Praise God Network, PGN, which is going to be the next big thing. You better watch out. You better watch out. So, you know, but it's what God would allow. So I'm thankful and grateful. I'm, I'm praising him in advance. Okay, so 2024, by the way, all my ministries that want to be part of Praise God Network and have your your um, services and or programs or conferences, specials, whatever, in the uh, Praise God Network family, community of, um, you know, worship services and, and, and uh, Christian content. I welcome you to the PGN, Praise God Network. Um, so anyway, that's where Flow, so Flow has been flowing for several years now. And so how we flow out today, meaning, you know, because of Flow, how we flowing, how you feeling, how you doing, how we flowed out today, how you flowing today, I'm okay today, I've had some days <laughs> where I haven't been so okay. So we got to check on each other and that's what it really is. It's a community, we check on each other, you know, you got friends that, you check on each other hopefully you do and uh, and if you don't find some but um, we can't just be traversing this whole thing by ourselves God didn't create us to just be an island unto ourselves because you know life happens and we got to learn how to deal with it and so we think we're the only one this terrible thing has happened to but we never are and the more you communicate with others and begin to interact in a supportive role you begin to find out a lot of people have a lot of things that go on I'm not the only one they might have something different than me, but we're all dealing with something. And so we support each other. We're supportive community in the flow. How we flow dot today. And so this is how we flow dot today TV. It's one of the uh, TV extensions of us. So the how we flow dot today TV network is also part of the flow streaming service. I'm so excited. God is so good. So good. So good. Come on, who can give God a hand clap of praise today? What can you thank him for today? My gosh. Yeah, so, so many doors he's opened. So many ways he's made. So many blessings seen and yet to be seen. But, um, wowzer. So, how we flowed out today? How you flowing today? And that's kind of where we are. So, so again, I say, if you're just joining us, you weren't here in September. You weren't here in August. You weren't here prior to that. We've been here prior to August and September, but we flipped the switch September 1st to change our mindset and, and to do, and the, the, the flip switch was um, from now, which was September 1st, until January 1st, 2024, we're going to go 1,000% towards what God told us to do. So whatever God said that you need to be doing in this season, you need to go one thou wow, thousand percent towards it. Like no laying back, chilling like, um, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm going to get to it or I'm a hundred percent or I'm two percent. No, a thousand percent. That's like 10 times. You're 10 Xing the effort that you would have given if you gave it a hundred percent, right? So we're giving a thousand percent and you know, you can't give a thousand percent every day for, you know, extended period of time. And we're going to give, we're giving a thousand percent for September, for October, for November, and all of December. And then on January 1st, we want to see where we are. How far did we get? We were back there doing all right. Doing all right. We're getting there, right? Some days are better than others. Give yourself some grace on those days. Someday I got to just lay in my bed like, okay, that's enough. I can't do anything else today. I am not in the mood for it today. 
but then you come back and you're all right you know so it ebbs and it flows what i say it ebbs and it flows that might be a new network ebbs and flows uh the ebbs and flows so listen you know thank you lord so listen you know there was like uh like i said i'm feeling good today i'm feeling mighty fine on this fabulous day here and i'm grateful for that so i think it was a couple of days ago i was not feeling so, so great i don't know what was going on i was having a weird week that was how I was feeling. Some days better than others, right? But it must have been, um, I think, when, it must have been Wednesday night in the, th in the Thursday, you know, you go to bed. I get up super early in the morning. I get, God wakes me up anyway, like two or three when I'm supposed to be still sleeping. But I get up, uh, I start work at 5 a.m., 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. So um, I have to get up early. Anyway, so getting up early every every day for five days straight and not really getting a full eight hours of sleep or even six hours of sleep, sometimes three or two, one, four, any range from one to four hours of sleep per night, um, I get kind of tired, right? So a couple things happened this week to remind me how tired I might be and then how I might be feeling. And what, you know, if you don't rest enough, you don't get to get that good REM sleep where you can sort of process some of these things in your subconscious mind. You can't always process it. So it was Wednesday night, I think, into Thursday morning, because it wasn't Friday morning, so it was Wednesday night and Thursday morning. I was tired Wednesday night, and I, I was up late, and then I finally laid down, and, um, you know, I was just like, I'm just going to get some sleep, and I, I went to sleep. But, you know, I left the lamp on, because I didn't mean to doze off right away, but I did, and then um, I woke up, and... I woke up from some noise or some something and and turned out the noise was I was having a dream and I woke up from the dream sobbing like sobbing uncontrollably sobbing you know like that heavy <laughs> sob like 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 that deep down within your soul sob when something really is you know really is happening for you that's not good right and so uh, i woke myself up with the sobbing the sobbing sound and um i'm like i'm crying and i, I couldn't even stop when i woke up i'm like what the heck was i dreaming about that made me think of that feel that way what's my what am i feeling right now and so the dream i was having was about um you know, you have a bunch of dreams back to back. But that one was about um, someone that I was trying to help. And they had behaviors that they would do that would be uh, detrimental to them. And it kind of, in, in, in the dream, not necessarily this conveys to real life but in the dream this person has some special uh needs behavioral needs or whatever and so um they would act out or whatever in certain ways you know with either saying stuff or doing stuff or whatever which was uh wasn't neurotypical and all of that so you know i have a son on autism spectrum so i know about these different behaviors right so it's like well um it was time for like a family it was like thanksgiving or something it was family dinner or friends and family i think it was a bunch of friends and whatever and we were preparing for you know setting the table whatever and and they were doing something uh disruptive uh like saying stuff that was disruptive or whatever just acting um in those behaviors and uh it was common and, and regular and we already all knew that that's what what happens and you know you just you work within whatever scenario is it wasn't like anything like that but the sobbing came from because we know this is what it is this is how it manifests that's what happens with this person we still love them uh they're still part of us and we just learn to figure out how to to work within that right and so in this case they were doing okay and then it was almost time for you know, I have to get the table set and things. And then the, the, the behaviors began with the, you know, talking, yelling, whatever goes on with that. And, um, you know, being disruptive or, you know, knocking stuff down or whatever that was, right? So 
um, you know, we would just try to talk to them and say, oh, you know, try to, it's okay, you're, you're going to whatever, whatever, you know, however you, you deal with that without getting specifics. But um, it was all of that trying to help them, you know, go back to uh, a place where they wouldn't feel like they were going to be um, disruptive or feeling that behavior uh, come up. So, and then it was just like, the sobbing part came from, because, you know, if you have people in your life that you love and you care about, and in this case, in the, the uh, special needs and, and all of that, it's like, um, whatever manifests through that, it's, not, it's, it's involuntary for the people, right? The person. So um, it's not like they're trying to do these things to be a certain kind of way and, and you know, make things not as pleasant as, you know, they, they could be or whatever. It's just that is what it is and so it's not that they can necessarily do anything about it um, except maybe learn how to manage it differently but even sometimes it still happens right so in this time it was happening and, and you know we didn't want it to happen but we tried to talk them through it and whatever and it was still going on it was just like uh, in the dream I was I was feeling sad about it because I'm like you know we love this person they're part of us and um you know they're doing really well sometimes it still happens and i you know i just really want to help them and then then you think well maybe they maybe they don't want to be helped and that that gives you a sad space i want to help someone i know that they could do at least some level of improvement and but they don't want the help and you'd be sad about but they, they don't want the help and then that was a sad thing but the sobbing thing was when I began to think, because the, the behaviors continued, um, even with us in the inter, you know intervening and trying to help. Um, what if they can't be helped? We love this person. This person is part of who we are. We care about them. They care about us, and maybe they do want to help, but and they're they're receiving the help. But what if they can't be helped? What if they can't stop these behaviors? What if there's nothing we really can do about it? You know? And so that was a sob. It was just like a, a sad, grieving moment. Like, what if they can never get better? Um, even with intervention, even with, you know, whatever, even with unconditional love, what if they can never get better? And I was just so sad in that dream. And I start sobbing in the dream but I must have been sobbing so much and so loud that I woke myself up. You ever wake, wake yourself up in a dream? <laughs> like you might say something or whatever, or start, you know, fighting something or running or whatever, jumping, who knows what. But in this case, it was a sobbing sound, Ooh, you know, like deep. Probably like the same kind of sobbing when my mom died. Like, what is that? It was deep, deep sobbing. And it woke me up out of my sleep. And I'm like, why am I waking up? I was just crying in a dream. I think I'm crying right now. And then I felt my face and it was all soaked and wet. I'm like, I've been sobbing in this dream for a while. Good grief. So it was like Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And it was just like, it was something really heavy. It was just, it was just heavy on me. I, I didn't really, I wasn't expecting anything like that. It was just heavy. And so I got up, you know, so I'm going to get up, go to the bath and wash my hands, wash my face, whatever. And I'm still sobbing, walking around, fully awake now. And it was just like, there's a, there's a, what if they can't ever get better? You know, what if, what if this is just how it is? You know, cause I'm, I'm someone who always wants to help people and I help people, but what if they can't be helped? What if they can't be helped? It just is like, it was, it weighed heavily on me. What if you, what if you can't be helped? And I'm trying to help you and you really can't be helped. There's just nothing that anyone can do. And, and it is just going to be what it is. And for me, there was like a, a space of loss there. Like, oh, I mean, of course you have to accept if something, somebody can't be helped. I think people can be helped, but some, some things are, you know, beyond just general assistance, right? And I'm like, well, what if that's the case with this person and they can't be helped? And it was just so, it was heavy. It was heavy on me um, that, that day. And, and probably for about another half an hour at least while I'm walking around wide awake, I was still just sobbing. Like, oh my gosh, I'm like, why am I sobbing? I'm like, what if, what if they can't be helped? You know? 
So we're in this How We Flow Dot Today community and it ebbs and flows and, and, and some days are better than others, but you know, we talk about stuff and, and we, we'll deal with stuff and, and we uh, support each other, right? So even if you're supporting someone and it doesn't seem like they're making any progress, just have faith that they're going to make the progress when the time is right, they'll make the progress um, and, and, and that they'll be able to be helped. And if, if it should turn out that they cannot be helped, just believe that God is still working in it and through them and in the situation and working it out in the way that only he can. So, um, but yeah, that was just so, that was so heavy. My whole face was wet <laughs> all down my neck. My pillow was wet. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it just didn't stop. Like you wake up from a dream like, what was I just dream? You have a flash of it, then you forget. No, I had a flash of it. And then I remembered, and then I still felt the same emotions um, after that for at least at least 30 minutes. I was like, I, I can't keep sobbing. Come on, Stephanie, why do you keep sobbing? What if they can't be helped? Then what? What do you want to do? I don't know. I can't, I'm not the, the, the solver of everything, but I do what I can. So I'll say I've done what I can. And if they cannot be helped, I, I'll, I'll leave it to God to, to fix it, right? Because he's fixing it anyway. So... I'm here just as a support system, you know what I mean, as a guide, as, as someone to to impart a little uh, insight or wisdom or what have you, right? So, you know, as we're on this journey to wellness, self-care, caring for others, the art of well-being, being a supportive community in how we float out today, Think about, you know, some days are going to be better than others. So today is good. You know, today is good. I woke up extra sleepy today. I'm like, I don't feel like it. I don't want to go. You ever want to, you ever want to be somewhere where you don't want to go? <laughs> I find that happening quite often. I want to be where I want to be, but I don't want to go through the process of getting ready. <laughs> I just want to, I want to beam myself up, Scotty, and get myself right there. But uh, but I did get up, got ready for church today, got there, and it was a blessing and uh, another amazing service at New Birth. So uh, if you haven't visited New Birth, uh, I need you to do that uh, or at least uh, check it out on their streaming platforms online, on the YouTube and on Facebook. All right, all right, all right. And uh, they're on Instagram also. So... Yeah, so How We Float Out Today and How We Float Out Today TV is what you're joining me for um, here today. And again, we flipped the switch, if you're brand new, September 1st. We're going to thou wow percent into what God has called us to do between now and December 31st. And January 1st, we'll go back, look back, and check our progress. How do we do? Oh, look, you did this, you did that, you did that. Check, 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 check. So I want to see you know, all of those things, all of those things. So yesterday we talked about um, emotional intimacy and, and expressing emotions and feeling and, and, and loving and caring for people and relationships being transactional versus non-transactional. That's part of the list of blessings in our next phase of our life. Um, if you didn't check out the post... Again, I said I'm going to put it on YouTube when we get done here. I might upload it on this phone now while I'm talking. But um, I'm going to run through it one, one last time. And then we're going to wrap for the day. Oh, you know what? That strawberry. I got my strawberry on today. That strawberry cheesecake I was going to make. Ah. So I have my pan for it. And I forgot to leave out the cream cheese So while I went to church. So I'm going to go leave the cream cheese out. Let it soften enough. And I'm going to make it. And then I'll let you know how it turns out. I'm going to make it in the Instant Pot. And um, it's going to be strawberry cheesecake. But it won't be firm, firm until tomorrow. i got to keep it in, in the fridge overnight. So tomorrow I will let you know after I unveil it and see how uh, dense and wonderful and yummy it is. I will tell you how a cheesecake is in the Instant Pot instead of the oven, right? Instead of the oven. You know, my oven's been acting kind of weird for a while, so... I put it on 350, it goes up to four or something. I'm like, I don't trust the oven for cooking stuff. 
so I have other appliances that do do my uh, oven type cooking um, until I get another oven but in the meantime this instant pot cheesecake is gonna be so good well at least it looked good on the uh, video I got the uh, video for it so I'm gonna try it what they said and hey I hope it turns out great if it does I will show you if it turns out terrible I might still show you but <laughs> or if it turns out most excellent I might eat the thing up and never show anybody I'm like oh my gosh I didn't get a chance to make a video it was so good so we'll see we shall see we're coming up on Thanksgiving um, Thanksgiving Thanksgiving break my uh, youngest son will be home from college for Thanksgiving break but he's been home so many times y'all pray y'all pray that boy's strength please you might want to change his major already Lord have mercy really ugh, just pray for him just pray just pray just pray pray that young lad doesn't get talked out of his life destiny by people that surround him because <laughs> that happens I mean that's what we've been talking about isn't it <laughs> people getting talked out of their life destiny by the people that surround them with a bunch of stuff that is not good for them oh my gosh that's so true thank you Lord that's what we've been talking about and so I need you to pray that strength in for my uh, youngest son oh Lord have mercy okay that's a whole nother set of conversations that's my child that's my baby that's my baby but he's a grown young growing young man growing are you not are you growing at 19 well the, you can do some things at 18 that's at the age of an adult so he's 19 now so but lord they still need guidance right they still need guidance not from just any old body you need guidance from the people that love you and care about you and again this is a parallel we need guidance from the people that love us and care about us, not from the people who just out to get stuff from us or who don't, who want to derail your future so that they can see themselves get ahead. You know, I don't know if that's what's happening for him, but something's going on down there at that school. So pray my baby's strength. If that's happening for you in your life, people trying to derail you or whatever, uh, up in your face like, la, 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 love you. And then, ugh, that jacking you in the back. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. But that is what people do. Oh, my gosh. So, please, if you're joining this community and you're usually a backstabber, flip your switch, please, before you come in the room. All right? All right. Love you, too. Love you, three. Love you, four. Love you, more. Um, all right. So, blessings abound in this next phase of your life. And I said I was just going to go over this post. It's on... If you're a Twitter person, go on Twitter to um, my page at ATL Traffic Lady. And also on Instagram, on my page at ATL Traffic Lady. And I'm going to upload it to this YouTube channel too here. Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL Traffic Lady. Where is this thing? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, here it is. All right, so, yes, it's going to be, it's going to look like that, all right? So, it says, you're moving to a new phase of your life. Let me turn the sound down. You're moving into a new phase of your life. And then it says, it says, I said, I wrote this. I said, walk right into this long list of blessings awaiting you and flow. So let me see where the, the list is. I think I put the whole list on Instagram. Go on Instagram. Um, so it's a video, but then in the uh, part where you make the post, Instagram, you can put more than you can put on Twitter. So I put the whole thing in the Instagram post. So let me find it. And we're just going to run down this list, jot them down while I'm talking, or just go to uh, IG or Twitter and get the list yourself. I'll probably post it on how we flow dot today so you can get it there also but it says you're move you're moving into a new it says i said this this is my writing <laughs> not chat gpt you're moving into a new phase in your life walk right into this long list of blessings awaiting it easier life better life completely fulfilling life true contentment in life healed and healthy thoughts belief that you can have what you visualize ordained non-transactional relationships unconditional love supernatural success 
unspeakable joy, that's 10 right there, heaven sent happiness, emotional intelligence, ordered steps, doors opening, financial increase, healed family bonds, dreams realized, healed inner child, your legacy solidified, responsible with apologies owed, that's 20 right there, redeemed reputation, your personal power reclaimed, toxic relationships removed, enemy attacks bound, you got to bind that stuff, you're feeling worthy of reciprocal love, feeling deserving of mutual respect, you have clear thinking, you're self-aware, abundant blessings, optimal health, that's 30 right there, a lot of blessings coming for you in this next phase of life, I love you guys, you know, give me another half of that heart. Let's go get it, okay? So, uh, optimal health, that was 30. Inner light shining, releasing fear, embracing faith. You're following God's plan. You're being honest. You're being authentic. You're increasing your integrity. You're expressing love. You're, you got a mindset upgrade. You flipped the switch, 40. Self-limiting beliefs eliminated. Leveled up. Renewed mind. Living your dreams. Giving and receiving extraordinary love kingdom spouse, internal peace, true satisfaction, mind stayed on Jesus. That's like 49 to 50, anywhere from 47 to 50. And my counting is slightly off while I'm talking. Uh, and so close to 50 blessings in this next phase of your life. So go ahead, take this quantum leap into your new phase of life. Take the limits off and fly. You're going up to new atmospheres. God is giving you the air so flow. So uh, flow remains a theme for us here. So we're close to 50 uh, blessings, this long list of blessings awaiting you as you're moving into your new phase of life. So walk in the blessings, walk in the blessings. Some are just uh, bestowed upon you. Some require some work, right? But we got to put the work in on improving ourselves so we can get to these levels that we are aspiring to achieve. So let's go to work. Let's get the work in, get her done. Um, we talked about transactional relationships. You give me this, I give you that. And we wanna move away from those, okay? And we wanna move to unconditional love. We wanna move to um, love that is the way God intended it to be, right? So, you know, sometimes people have this, um, these feelings about uh, emotional intimacy and sharing their feelings and stuff. You want to be expressive, but it's really not been your way of being for your whole life. Like maybe you never learned to express emotions or you feel uncomfortable with that. Or again, we talk about if you only have transactional relationships and not like really unconditional relationships that just express love when uh, the feeling, we talk about the feelings flowing um, and it flows freely. Um, you want to, in, in choosing relationships, make sure you can be where your heart feels peaceful. Not where you're like, oh, what are they going to say next? That walk, oh, Lord. That walking on eggshells feeling. Anyone ever lived that? I lived that 13 years of walking on eggshells in a marriage of, uh, you know, you got to worry about everything that you say. You can't even just express your regular thing, what you want to say, because you're on eggshells just in case it sets them off right you don't want that that is not what god intended that's not what god intended so you know as beings human beings we we crave emotional intimacy we want that heart-to-heart -heart connection and i want that for you okay so if you're great at all of that then i'm not talking to you you tell somebody else also the same thing i'm saying so they can learn it too it, but if you have difficulty um, and you're suffering uh, because you're just not able to express what you're really feeling, you don't know really how to say it, or you feel uncomfortable doing it because you don't know if people that you want to express that to will feel the same way. And I said yesterday, there's a risk involved. It's a risk. You got to just be vulnerable and see. And if, if they don't receive it the way you intended it and they don't feel the same way, then okay, then that's one more clear step towards who is really for you right so um 
I think it's okay to say to say it and and see what happens because you might be surprised. They might be like, oh, really, you feel that way about me? I had no idea. I really was feeling the same way about you. So what are we going to do about that, right? So, uh, or they could say, oh, well, I just really only thought of you as a friend. So if they only think of you as a friend, then at least you know. But you can't just keep living your life wondering and wondering and wondering like, oh, but you know. Go ahead and bring it out. I said, you know, it builds up and you're like about to explode out. Oh my gosh, I feel so much for them so much. And blah, the whole damn burst, right? <laughs> and everything comes flooding out at once and floods the town. We don't want to flood the town. We don't want to fire hose somebody, right? But you can, you know, if they, if they want to receive that, they're going to love the fire hose. Like, yeah, more, more, heap more love on me. I love it. Um, but if they don't, then they're going to feel overwhelmed. But if you're uncomfortable with, the buildup that's going on in your emotional uh, balance there. <laughs> your emotional well of emotions is full, full up and ready to just spill over. Then just trickle some out, a little out at a time. Release that pressure a little bit. And then once you get the understanding that yes, they want the same thing you want, I always say, what, what you're attracted to you know, what what you're attracting is attracting is attracted to you. What you are attracted to attracts you. What you want wants you. So when we say the things that we want in our life, and we set things in motion, that uh, we end up trying to get to things to manifest, right? So if you speak things that are not as though they were, God ordains it, then it's going to be so. So in the worry of oh my gosh, what are they going to think? Well, who wouldn't be flattered to think that someone cares about them? Well, maybe some people would. I can't say. Some people, some people would. But if I speak for myself, because I only know about myself, um, I would I would be flattered to hear about that. And and hey, I might be like, oh my gosh, really? Oh, that is like, because I was thinking the same thing, but I was wondering what you thought about it too. So you never know, but you just gotta go ahead and feel comfortable to express. And, um, you know, find a support system that could help you walk you into it, into that space. Because you don't want to just have everything just bust out like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. And you can, because some people who want to receive it, they're going to receive it. Whoever's for you is going to receive that. Like, really? Oh yeah, and me, da, da, da. And you just burst on each other. <laughs> You're, both your dams burst like. And just keep going and coming and going and coming and going and again and again and again and again and it is like so amazing right that's the ultimate you know desire that's what we ultimately want but um yeah so we've been talking 40 almost 43 minutes good grief just be talking girl so let's see what else i want to tell you mm -mm -mm -mm. I want you guys to um, go into places where you're given space to be yourself. You know, getting that, I got to walk on eggshells around this person because I don't know what's going to set them off. I don't know what they're going to say about what I have to say. I can only say certain things, certain ways. I want you to uh, give yourself, put yourself in spaces where, you know, you're able to be expressive. And... You're not going to feel judged by them about what you say or that they're going to, you know, belittle you for thinking that or say that that's stupid or dumb or whatever. Why would you think that? You know, I want you to be given your space to um, communicate freely and to uh, say what you want to say. So craft and uh, curate those kind of spaces and relationships with people and friends, hopefully family and um you know even acquaintances that become more than friends because that's the that's the safe space that we all want to, to to land into because if you're about to fall apart you want to fall apart in a, a place where it's a transactional relationship they're like oh well see ya and you, you fall and they were like Boom, let you fall on the floor because <laughs> i didn't sign up for that part no you want to fall 